Um, in uh, her article, uh, uh, Christine did not give the website. It's www.expelthemovie.com. Take a look at it, and take a look over here in the lower right-hand -hand corner at the trailer. Uh, because, it, well, not right now, but you know, when you <laughs> uh, click on the trailer and do watch the trailer. There, there's this little trailer getting into the site, but you know, go through that and then watch the long-time trailer. You'll get an idea what this movie is about. This is a feature-length movie. It's going to be released in theaters, they claim. Uh, not just for DVD and church basements, but they are going to be promoting this as a real genuine uh, theater adventure. This is not just a pro-intelligent design movie. This is an anti-science movie. Uh, because the position that they are taking is that scientists are lying to you about evolution because they are all a bunch of atheists and evolution is an important doctrinal position of atheism and hence scientists are going to guard it and keep any sort of possibility of bringing God into science in because they know that will destroy their whole ideology, they say. They're also claiming that um, uh, there's a series of martyrs to the cause, intelligent design proponents, anti-evolutionists, who are being discriminated against, they're losing their jobs, they're not getting tenure, they're being crushed by the jack-booted heels of people like me. <laughs> and you know how many I am. Um, and so it's, it's, a very, it's a very disturbing movie. Um, if you uh, browse around on this website, you will find the class officers of the Big Science Academy, including um, uh, four people who are at this meeting. And I must say, I'm sorry Richard isn't here, uh, because uh, the picture of, of Richard and I are, at least in my case, it's at least 15 years out of date, so at least we look fabulous. <laughs> But uh, it, the, the whole idea here is that the scientists are all, all a bunch of atheists and shades of Big Daddy. We are all rude and arrogant and dogmatic. Now, you can hide, find out more about the creation and evolution controversy at ncseweb.org. If you go to this uh, teaser box here, Evolution, Education, and the Law, you can find out a great deal more about what's going on legally. If you go to our newsroom, you will get to this page, and you can sort either by year or by state, find out what's going on in your own state. We try to keep this updated. It's a really depressing page. Um, if you go to our resources page, you will find um, lots of information on creationism and intelligent design. And you know, people are always saying, gosh, I didn't know it was a membership organization. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> you can join. It's cheap, and you get a really depressing newsletter. <laughs> and I do want to thank my staff. Some of, some of you know these people, some of you have corresponded with these people, and they really deserve the credit for NCSE being a wonderful organization, an effective organization that it is. Eric Nickel, Susan Spath, uh, Glenn Branch, and if you are not getting Glenn Branch's Friday e newsletter on creation and evolution, you are missing the truth. You can uh, go down that series of teaser boxes on the right and sign up for it. It's really, really excellent. Um, our education outreach person is um, Louise Mead, um, PhD in evolutionary biology and a former classroom teacher. Our religious outreach person is a theologian, uh, uh, Peter Hess. Our brand new postdoctoral scholar, of physical anthropology, Ann Holden, and. Joshua Rosenau, who uh, a biologist whom some of you know from his blog, View from Kansas. And yes, we are finally getting into the modern world and we are on Facebook. So go in and uh, join our Facebook group and you can even see my um, socialization. <laughs> 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 